all about Arch Bridge. All About Arch Bridges by Ivy Beatty and Joanna M. There are different types of bridges and they all do different jobs. One of them is the Arch Bridge. Sit back, relax, and watch all the knowledge about Arch Bridges flow into your brain. Arch Bridges dissipate force by spreading out into a wide area so that no one spot can bear a lot of force. Arch Bridges are bridges with abutments at each end shaped as curved undersides. There are four main types of arch bridges, two of which I'm going to tell you. So there is a tight arch bridge, which is this. We need some places for the bands not strong enough to support. And then I'll tell you about the three pain bridge. So the three pain contains extra pain at top of the arch. Now Joanna will tell you two of the main bridges. There is also the hinge lift bridge, which is only built in strong sturdy location because the force is placed on the foundation. There is also the two hinge bridge, which is this bridge. And it for, the forces are generated at the hinge bearings. And they're the most commonly used type because they're the most economical. So our bridges can be made out of almost anything. For example, they can be made out of concrete, steel, stone, asphalt, timber, iron, aluminum, and even rubber. Arch bridges have some pros and cons. For example, they provide higher levels of resistance and the design is good when it comes to pressure. They also become stronger over time. However, there are also some cons. They're really expensive to build and boats cannot easily pass under because they're limited in size. This model shows the, this figure above shows the full path of the force acting on an arch. It goes, when the force gets the arch, it travels down to the piers, the different piers. So then the piers go down to the foundation so that no one spot on the bridge has to bear all the weight. For, for them, then we did a little, tr we did a little weight, weight test and for trail one, we put, we put seven bottles of 8.1 ounces onto the, this bridge. For, and it helped. Then for trail two, we put 14 bottles of water with eight fluid ounces in each onto this bridge, and it was still very strong. However, on trail three, we put 21 bottles of water with eight fluid ounces in each onto this bridge, and it was getting a little unstable because this part was curving down. So we decided to stop because we didn't want it to collapse. In conclusion, arch bridges are very helpful in our lives, so they help us get from one place to another. Arch bridges are very unique because they can last for a long time, be very large, and they can bear a lot of weight. We hope you learned a lot about these wonderful arch bridges. The next time you see an arch bridge, remember all the knowledge that you learned about them today. Thank you for your attention. Bye.